Okay, so we're back down at the uh, Beale Spring Barley Trails, just having a look to see how things are moving on. Since last time we are here, eight, nine days ago, uh, we've had 20 mils of rain. Temperatures haven't really been that warm, but it is starting to warm up now. But you can see instantly how much the crops have moved since the last time we are here. Last time we had ears were basically up to there, the nodes were just starting to separate. Now we've got a stretched node there, stretched node there, another node there, and then we've got the barley ear with the awns starting to come out. So next time we're down, I'll expect to see the awns out, which is a key, key disease control timing. Um, which will be probably in about 10 days time, something like that, I would imagine I see these. Crop, again, is in excellent condition. The weather in our maritime climate is really, really suiting it. So we've got a lot of positives going for these crops at the minute. What we need now, we've had the moisture, soils are really nice and wet there. So root, root levels, roots are, are absorbing moisture, no problem at all. You know, really nice textures in the soils there. And we'll see, uh, we'll see crops moving on now. What we need is sunshine in June, really, which sort of fills the grains in here. So the barley yields are, at the minute, looking fairly promising um, in most crops, but we've got a long way to go with them. Um, we did see that there's one or two odd yellow plants. That's probably down to barley yellow dwarf virus, which was an aphid transmitted disease. Um, but we have got a few, a lot of ladybirds going around, which is a sign that, la that there's aphids are about. Ladybirds are natural predators to aphids, and uh, it's good that we see them. So I would never consider spraying an insecticide, because if you're spraying an insecticide, you're going to take the ladybirds out. And why do we want to do that when we can work with the natural, natural predators?